Welcome to Cryptopia Academy. My name is Laudi and welcome to the place where you can learn more about Cryptopia. Today's topic is the factions of Cryptopia. I hope you guys enjoy and that you learn more. Thank you very much. Let's get started. So we're going to be dividing the presentation into two. The first part is the factions and the second part is the interactions between them. Now, if you want to skip to the part where you want to watch, there are discussion timestamps written below. Just click that and you'll be taken to the part of the video where you want to watch. So there are four factions in Cryptopia. We're going to be talking about their history and their goals, their stats, and their interactions with each other. The Eco Faction is led by John Smith, and they're all about preserving the natural resources of Cryptopia. So their strength is climate, but their weakness is profit and production. Now, the Eco Faction absorbs carbon emission in Cryptopia. That makes their rival the Industrial Faction. The industrial faction is led by Peter Nolan, and they have only one goal, which is to uh, maximize profits by any means necessary. So their strength is profit and production, but their weaknesses are climate and cooperation. Now, the industrial faction produces carbon emission that makes the eco faction their rival. Now, the traditional faction is led by Jane Brown, and their goal is to make sure that the people of Cryptopia are equals and that they have equal rights. And so that's the reason why their stats are like this. They, as you can see, they're all at fives. That means they don't have any strengths or weaknesses. Then the interaction that they have is they produce population scores in Cryptopia. So that makes their rivals the tech faction. The tech faction is led by Sam Clark, and their goal is to make the next scientific achievement. So they're all about technology and making sure that Cryptopia is technologically advanced. So their strength is science, but their weaknesses is cooperation and climate. Now, the tech faction decreases population scores, so that makes the traditional faction their rivals. So that's really it for the factions right now. If you want to know more or a little bit more about the factions, I have separate videos for them. You take a, you can take a look at the descriptions below and you can click the link for the specific faction that you want to watch. So we're now going to be talking about the gameplay mechanics of the factions. So we're going to be talking about the faction wheel, the carbon emission and population scores, and the faction zones and why does it matter. Okay, though so this is the faction wheel. It'll show you which factions you can work with and you're going to, who you're going to be fighting against. Now keep this in mind because this will help you um, in the next slides that we have. Now remember when I said some factions either absorb or produce CO2 and population scores, right? Now this contribute globally and locally. Now global effects is will affect everyone in Cryptopia no matter where you are located in Cryptopia. Now, the game calculates the total carbon emissions and population scores globally. And depending on how high or low those may be, it will affect your production positively or negatively. Now, we also have local effects. Now, the local effects is really important because you need to strategize and be wise in where you're going to be buying your land tile. Okay. Now, to give you a quick idea of how to check um, how much a uh, specific land tile produces all you need to do is click on it and by clicking on it you'll be able to see the production of population scores and the co2 levels of that specific land tile so if i click on this land tile this po this thing will show here and it will pop up and it'll give you an idea of how much um it produces now th these numbers are only speculative and are just there for examples now, faction zones. Now, this is really important. Local proximity to your rival faction matters. Now that you know that each faction produces 
or decreases carbon emission and population scores, it is important to know that your location inside Cryptopia is crucial. Being near your faction will help you immensely, and being near your rival faction will affect you negatively. Now, let's say for example, I am from the Eco faction, and I'm this person right here. If I build my, or if I buy a land tile near the industrial faction, that will not be a wise decision because um, it will greatly impact my productivity and my, my effectivity as an eco person because I will be surrounded by industrial faction members that produce a lot of CO2. As you can see, there's a lot of smoke coming from their land tiles. So going there is not a good idea. What I should do is I, is I should go here and buy a land tile close to my fellow faction members. That way the CO2 levels in this location will be low, which will help my production immensely. So having that in mind, um, it is really a good idea to think about where you buy your land tiles, unless you want to mess around <laughs> with your rival faction and build your land tile near them. All right. Okay, next slide. There are gameplay mechanics in Cryptopia that will help you sabotage your rival faction. Now, let's say, for example, let's go back to the previous slide. Let's say, for example, you have no choice and you have to build a land tile near your rival faction. You have no choice. You have to bear with their CO2 levels, right? What you can do is you can sabotage them. By sabotaging their building, it temporarily dec decommissions their buildings that will prevent them from producing CO2 levels in that specific area. That means the CO2 levels of their buildings will be stopped and your production levels will be improved. Now you can do this by using loyalty cards. Uh, we have NFTs for those which you can attach to your buildings. Uh, it will either help you in successfully sabotaging your rival faction or help you in defending your buildings from sabotages as well. So this is a unique gameplay mechanic to make sure that even if you are surrounded by your rival faction, you always have that ability to make sure that their CO2 levels or their, their way of absorbing population or CO2 levels is hampered by sabotaging them. So with that being said, um, I'd like to go ahead and encourage you to ask questions, place comments in the, in the comment section below. If you have any questions there, I would be happy to go ahead and answer them or you could go to our discord so that way our moderators can help you and you know interact with you to answer those questions for you. And that's it, really it for me. Um, thank you very much for watching our basic guide to Cryptopia's factions. Thank you very much. You could visit our website at Cryptopia.com. You could also uh, mint one of our NFTs. Um, they are available right now. Just go to Cryptopia.com slash early access. And if you want to send us an email, you can do so by sending an email at info at Cryptopia.com. Once again, this is Laudi, your community manager. Thank you so much. Have yourselves a great day. See you in Cryptopia, guys.